guys Melita here I am back with another video this time around is a little different but it's gonna be a good one it is a good one I am back with a 30 days hair challenge yes so I made my hair oil it's in this jar right here I'm gonna show you in a bit how I made all of this and I went ahead and put some in this bottle right here and melted it this bottle is from sally's at least that's where i got it from but you can get this uh any beauty supply even dollar tree you can get it from there but yeah so i put some in here my plan is for the next 30 days to be um putting the oil in my hair so right now my hair is already done for the protective styling and it's fairly moisturized, so I'm not going to be putting any more oil in it. But every two days, I will just go ahead and um put hair, um, put hair, melt the oil under hot water and then just put it in my hair and rub it in there to see how this oil is going to do and what it's going to do to my hair within 30 days. And let me tell you, this is actually a challenge challenge for me. Because to be honest, oh my gosh, to keep my hair on for two weeks is actually war. So me challenging myself for growth and restriction to keeping my hair in for 10, 30 days, I am here for it. And I can't wait to see the results of my hair. So if you want to see the before and then come back in 30 days and see the after Please be sure to subscribe. When you subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I mean, I have some other videos that may interest you. So go ahead and watch them. Join the family. Let me stop talking your ears up and actually take you to the video on how I made this hair cream or oil right here. All right. I will catch you in my next video. Till next time, be safe, stay blessed, and fabulous use shea butter for my hair this is raw shea butter but i'm adding two new ingredients to my hair oil today and this will be this lemon grass oil and the name oil i heard a lot a lot about this oil so i'm definitely excited to try it and see what it's gonna do to my hair for 30 days all right, right now it's uh, solid, so I have to put it in hot water to get it to turn back to liquid. All right, yes, um, this is my empty container that I'll be putting my hair, my products in. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this um, shea butter. This is the raw one. That's what's in this bag because um, the lady I get it from, she get it straight up from Africa and then from like oh not Liberia from Nigeria and then she just get it from in a bucket and put it in plastic this the raw one is even more expensive but shea butter is so good I love it and it smells so I'm gonna be taking a chunk of this I think this is too huge because I'm gonna be melting it all right this should do I'm gonna put that in a bowl and melt it Yeah, this one should do. Okay, so I went ahead and melted the uh, shea butter. So this is what it looks like. I don't want to tilt it too much because we have. I would be mad if I spill any of this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I also went ahead and melted the uh, neem oil. Nice liquid. Again. And I heard it smells terrible and it tastes bitter. But I do not plan on tasting it. Oh, it's very sealed. So if you get yours, it should be very much protected like this. I cannot find the receipt, so I can't tell you how much exactly it is. But I'll check on Amazon. Oh, goodness. Holy cow. The stuff stinks. Oops, I broke mine off. Oh, my gosh. Okay, they told me it smelled, but... I didn't know it. Ooh. I don't even want to get it close to my mouth. I heard it's bitter. This stuff stinks. 
And imagine the fact I'm pregnant again makes it even worse for my nose. But you know what? I'm gonna take one for my hair. Yeah, I had to take this off because I ain't got time to be shaking. Once I get what I want, I'll put it right back to keep it sealed. All right. So that's a teaspoon. This stuff stink. One should not be putting a lot of it, but oh well. So I'm doing two teaspoons of that. Ooh. I'm telling you, man, this just stinks. Excuse my language. I'm going to go in with the lemongrass oil. That I love the scent, so hopefully it will balance things out. And two teaspoons of that too. Matter of fact, a little bit more. All right, two teaspoons. So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put my oil in the fridge to let it cool down and then I'll come back to mix it. All right guys, so the oil is actually in the freezer. I'm letting it cool. And I decided to just come do the length check. Cause I plan on putting my hair in protective styling today. This is how I stretch my hair when I wash it with no heat or whatsoever. So we're gonna start from the back. It's not if my face is overly oily, that's because I've been wearing this makeup for a few hours now. I've been wearing this since morning. And it wasn't really a full coverage makeup, it was just a makeup. No makeup, makeup kind of day because I had a doctor's appointment. But anyways, let's do the check. So this is going to be the back. This is the back. And where it stops. Let me see if I can take this sweater off. All right. So back to it. This is the back. And this is where it stops. Let me turn. So that's good and um let me take this side out and let's see my hair is dry because I haven't put any product inside Then for this one, this one is a little short. So as you can see, it stops right on my collarbone. So let's see what this oil does for my hair, especially the back of my hair. All right, so we can measure the side. Comb that out. See what she up to. All right. So that one stops right there. Right on my neck. So it's like I don't know about you guys, but I have a hair goal, okay? So my goal for my hair is, I'm gonna show you an example in a minute. And then this side also, my collarbone so this one looks like she needs work as well okay so hmm. that one stop right underneath my chin touching my atom apples this is how it is So this is my hair right now. You're gonna be seeing everything, but this is it right now when my hand is up like this. So my plan is I want the next time, well, where I want my hair to be is when I extend my hands like this and my arm are fully extended. 
that's my hair go for my arm to be fully fully extended let me adjust my phone and the camera so you can see yeah so this is my hair right now so my plan is for when i stretch my hair out like this for my arm to be like fully extended up there that is my goal all right my hair my edges nothing happened to my edges not from wig or anything like that my edges have always been like thin out here so hopefully this oil can um you know do some magic for me and give me some edges i'm gonna go check up on my oil and um put some in my hair and do my hair today is november 25th yeah it's november 25th so whatever protective style i do is i'm planning on keeping it in till december 25th all right so maybe i'll take it out a day after christmas okay so right out of the freezer this is what it looks like and i'm just gonna go ahead and mix it back Got it looking nice and smooth like butter. I'm just gonna go to, go ahead and put it in my empty container and put it in my hair. Thank you.